my name is Casey Ohlone. I am a senior at Omaha Central, and my poem does not have a name. I do not want my children to be shackled by a name, a telephoned rumor, an artificial connotation. Simple syllables have let fires behind my eyes. Fat, ugly, slut. Don't try to tell me you don't know what these words mean. You learn them like the ABCs. They are the echoes in the school halls. When I was 11 years old, a fellow student called me a whore. I did not know his name or face, but he knew mine and how he wanted to twist my own being into its own beautifully tragic masterpiece. Me, a girl with the outdoors as her social network and a bicycle for a cell phone. I could not pedal my way to knowing what it meant when sexual shame was plunged into pre-adolescent nanoseconds after boys had cooties. Later, a girl called me emo for a burn I got while frying eggs. A physical scar I thought would never fade and a mental image that always stayed because even if the scar was purposeful, labeling it would not change its state. They told me that the first step to fixing a problem was admitting that a problem was there, but labeling scr simply scratched the surface. Name calling broke the glass of the photo I framed. A self-portrait of what everyone else had the ability to see. A portrait to that later saved as the basis, the foundation of further judgment based on their versions of truth. A slice of the portrait they see. What the little bird of criticism tweeted over towns of generalizations based on one's religion, race, gender, not easily changed or even worthy of change because how dare you take a fragment of who I am and place it wherever you'd like. I cannot change others. They are much too stubborn. They do not see a problem with using words without discretion. But I am an artist, an optometrist. I frame the lenses of how I perceive myself because the best thing anyone can do for themselves is to stop having others change their opinions about themselves. And when my kids grow older, I will teach them that they don't have to uh, squeeze themselves into the mold that society has laid out for them. Because, and build a blockade against opinions that should not and do not matter in the end because we have the paper and pens to write our own autobiographies. It starts with you, it starts with me, and it starts with us. <laughs>